Welcome everyone to our special Thanksgiving edition. My name is Brian Holmes and I'm, I'm grateful to have you with us today. Well, it's Thanksgiving here in the U.S. as far as our holiday is concerned. And when you think about Thanksgiving, what do you think about? I think about turkey and honey glazed ham and green bean casserole, broccoli salad and pumpkin pie and all the trimmings. I think about family. I think about usually an entire day, maybe a couple of days, maybe an entire weekend that we get to spend with those that we love and care for the most. You know, I recently took time to take a look at the history of Thanksgiving as far as the holidays concerned here in the States. 1620, the pilgrims landed at Plymouth Rock on our eastern shores and they landed in the wintertime. And it was a very brutal winter because many of the people that came with them on that initial journey didn't make it through that first winter. They had hunger issues. They had uh, provision issues. They had shelter issues. And there were Native Americans that were living here already on this continent. And somehow there was this incredible alliance that was formed. And through that first winter and first uh, number of seasons there, those folks helped these foreigners to survive. The next year, things began to turn and change because their, their harvest in the next season was so bountiful, so plentiful, so amazing. And they decided to celebrate that success and that breakthrough in their lives with a massive feast. And we look back on that and that's kind of the origin of what we call Thanksgiving. For many years now in the USA, we have celebrated this as a, an official holiday. And it's, it's one of those days where we get to be off work. We get to stay home. Uh, everything is closed for the most part, except for the greedy retailers, right? But I tell you what, to me, Thanksgiving is about more than a holiday. So I want to speak to all of you, wherever you are around the world. Maybe you don't celebrate the holiday as we do, but I want to talk to you for a few minutes today about the heart of thanksgiving, and what being thankful really does mean. You know, we live in a generation where entitlement is really the attitude of choice. I'm really amazed at how ungrateful and how entitled people are as a whole around the world, really. I've had the privilege of traveling to 18 countries other than my own. And as I've traveled the world, I've realized that there are places where people have real difficulties. There are places where there are real challenges, not just, oh my gosh, the store didn't have the loaf of bread that I wanted. I go to places around the world where, quite honestly, there are no jobs. There are no vehicles. If someone wants to get somewhere, they have to walk, sometimes for days where food is a challenge and at, at the best people get to eat a staple food like maybe some mealy meal or some type of salad or some type of potato as their primary sustenance and they're fortunate if they get maybe one meal a day. I've traveled a great deal and I've realized that here in the Western world we're very, very ungrateful. The truth is we're blessed the truth is we are absolutely, unbelievably blessed. <laughs> My gosh, every day I get up and I have multiple sets of clothing to choose from. One of the biggest decisions I have to make every day is what pair of shoes am I gonna wear? And there are some places in the world where a person is fortunate to have one pair of shoes. When you really think about it, our, our big decisions here in the US are where are we gonna eat today and we have 18 choices within a square mile radius. I'm just saying, when you think about Thanksgiving, do we really want to go down this road of, of complaining and being ungrateful and always feeling entitled, feeling as though someone owes us something? I wanna challenge you in this session today, think about how you think. Think about the words that you use. Think about the place that you go in your mind automatically when something doesn't go just your way. Are you exercising an attitude of gratitude? Are you walking in gratefulness and thankfulness? Or are you, like so many others in our world, 
just defaulting to a place of complaint and greed and avarice and nothing is ever quite enough. Thanksgiving is more than a holiday. Thanksgiving is more than just uh, a great meal with great people that we love. Thanksgiving is a state of mind. It's an attitude. In fact, I would like to share with you that Thanksgiving is really a habit. Let me tell you what I'm thankful for. I'm thankful that every evening when I'm ready to go to bed that I have a place to lay my head. I'm thankful that I have a home and a roof over my head where I can escape the elements and I can sleep in safety and in peace and in quiet. I'm thankful for my family, for my wife, for my beautiful children, my son Christian, my daughter Abigail, my extended family, my mother who's 81 and still thriving and doing well, my in-laws, my brother-in-law. I'm thankful for my brother and for my sister. I'm thankful that I have people that love me, care for me, that call me out on things. I'm thankful so much for the friends that keep me in line and help me along the way, encourage me to become the best me I can be. I'm thankful for opportunities because they're so bountiful. I'm thankful for food. I'm thankful for clothing. I'm thankful for all of the things that God has blessed me in my life with. And, you know, sometimes we take the little things for granted. We just blow through our days, never taking the time to write out what we're grateful for. I want to challenge you. Get a piece of paper out. Get a pen. And just begin writing all of the things, small, big, and in between, that you are grateful for, that you are thankful for. Now, I know we're celebrating a holiday this week, and I know that it's a, a big deal, and you're going to have a lot of time with family. But I want you to take time to write a list. Recently, my wife and I have begun what we call a gratitude journal. Every day, we write at least one thing we're thankful for in our devotion time. I encourage you to do that. It's important. If you have people in your life that you're thankful for that have meant a lot to you, take time to tell them. They need to hear it. They want to hear it. It will encourage them if you say the words. It's Thanksgiving, not just this week. It's Thanksgiving every day. The last thing I want to share with you today in this special edition is this. I'm thankful for you. You know, here at BrianHolmes.com, we do a lot of work. We have a deep desire to empower, to equip, to transform the lives of people that we touch. And you're a part of that journey with us. So I want to say to you on this Thanksgiving week that I'm very grateful for your partnership. I'm grateful for you being a part of our community. I'm grateful for you listening, watching, reading, participating in this journey that we call strategic living and strategic leadership. Please know this, wherever you are in the world, whatever your status in life, whatever you're dealing with right now, maybe as we said early on in this program, your Winter season has been difficult. You've experienced great loss, great setbacks. Know this, there's another great season coming. And for that, you can be thankful. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. May God bless you wherever you are.